Dear Samsung, get your sh** together. What's up guys, Austin here, and today we're doing another episode of Ask Me. So I haven't done this in a while, but this is where you guys send me any questions using my social media. So Twitter, maybe I'll do Snapchat in the future, but without further ado, let's just jump right into it. A report of a recalled Note 7 exploded again. Thoughts for Samsung as a company? So look, this is not the first time a company has ever had to recall a product. In fact, it's happened to Apple in the last couple of years. But holy f you guys are not handling it well. So overall, this has been a pretty, 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 pretty crappy look for Samsung. I mean, this could not have happened at a more opportune time for Apple. I mean, right before they announced their iPhone 7. So already you're gonna have a bunch of people that are looking at Samsung saying, whoa, their phones are exploding. I'm gonna go with the iPhone 7 or the 7 Plus, even if they don't even use Apple products. I mean, it's a pretty big deal if your Jeep explodes because of your phone, but I just don't think Samsung is handling this right. They're giving you the option of sending in your old Note 7 for a new Note 7, or you can send it in for $25. So that doesn't make sense to me because it's saying sorry that your phone might explode here's $25 now I don't work for Samsung I'm not an industry professional I don't work in the phone business but I just feel like it was a really bad look because we didn't really know what Samsung's official stance on the recall was whether they were telling you to recall your phone or it's fine just trade it in we're sorry for the inconvenience but as I was writing down the questions for this video a six-year-old boy was playing with the Note 7 and it exploded so that just shows you that it is happening and it's a problem I don't want to be a fear monger, but just trade in your damn phone. I mean, there are airlines that won't even let you check in a Galaxy Note 7 into your luggage because they're afraid that it's going to explode. Now again, this might just be fear mongering. It happened with hoverboards where they were saying that they're exploding. I had one and it didn't explode. So I mean, just proceed with caution. Just don't do anything stupid with your phone and just hope that it doesn't explode because who knows. Is it true that the army is buying up the recalled Note 7 units to use as grenades? <laughs> Oh God. What happened to your Moto X second gen even after it was destroyed? So if you don't know what he's talking about, check out this video right here that I uploaded a while ago. Uh, it's an interesting one. I don't really feel like explaining in this video, but basically my Moto X wouldn't stop ringing and I had to do something about it. So since you're still wondering, I actually still have it. I kept it as a memento to that video just because it was such an interesting one, but I still have it. It's obviously not functioning. And I think it's just a testament to patience because if I had just maybe waited a bit longer it wouldn't look like this but it's okay I mean it's, it's whatever I think actually that video served as a really good advertising for Motorola because this thing was really 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 hard to destroy <laughs> What do you think about the new direction Google is headed with their smartphones? Will they be able to actually compete? So I would say I'm moderately excited for these smartphones. I mean, at this point, there are so many options for smartphones that I could name you one at every single price point. But I think that's the important thing that they're gonna have to nail here. So if you didn't know, Google is coming out with a new line of phones and they're gonna be branding it the Pixel, just like their Pixel C tablet. Now interesting thing about this phone is it's probably gonna be the fastest phone in the world because it's reported that it's gonna have the Snapdragon 821 processor in there, which would be the fastest in the world, four gigs of RAM. But I'm really interested to see how it fits inside this current market because there are so many phones that you can get for even just $400. So they're really gonna have to make a really impressive phone for the price uh, to entice me to buy it. Thoughts on the Philly D censorship problem with YouTube, AKA monetization. So if you guys somehow haven't heard about this, I'll leave a link to Phil's video down in the description, but basically he went over something that's pretty important to the YouTube community as a whole. YouTube has been demonetizing videos that they have deemed inappropriate for advertisements on their site. Now, personally, I think YouTube has the right to do whatever they want with their website because it is their website, it is their platform, and a lot of creators will argue that we're making content for you, so we should be able to say whatever we want to. And that's true, but I just have a problem with how they did it. So apparently, they had just been demonetizing videos this entire time, but the issue lies that they didn't tell creators about it. So essentially, there were millions of dollars basically lost on revenue because creators didn't even know that their videos are being demonetized. And another issue is that there you can actually file a claim to get your video re-monetized and they're just falsely demonetizing a bunch of videos because of an algorithm. So that's where the problem lies in the process by which they inform creators. Um, if you aren't able to monetize certain videos over others, uh, you could say that's a form of censorship, but again, they have the right to do this because it is their platform. How did you begin as a YouTube tech reviewer? P.S. I'm an aspirant, by the way. I think I started like everyone else. I just started reviewing things. And I think that's the main piece of advice I can give to anyone trying to start a channel. Just do it. That was weird.
The only way to do this and more importantly, get better at it is to just go ahead and try it, make videos. The first ones are gonna be terrible. They might be good, but the only way you'll know is if you actually go ahead and make them. If you keep saying, I'm gonna start tomorrow, or I'm gonna wait till I have better equipment, you're never really gonna get started and you're gonna wonder why you aren't growing because something that I always ask myself is, where would I be if I actually made consistent content last year? I'll never know. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just making stuff that I wanna make and then the rest will follow. That's the only thing you can do. Don't worry about equipment, don't worry about all that other stuff because you'll get that in the meantime. Bro, you literally just bought this lens off of me yesterday. I'm just gonna ship it out. Damn it, Carlos. Is Austin's personality dead? So here's the deal with that channel. If you guys wanna check it out, it's right here. But if you didn't know, I had another channel where I made skits and I wanna get back into doing that. And I'm gonna be doing that really soon. So I have a plan that you guys will see probably in less than two weeks where I will be vlogging. And the reason I'm doing this isn't really to vlog. I mean, I, my life isn't that interesting. But like I just said before, the only way to get better at something is to constantly do it. So with this vlogging channel, I'm gonna be making vlogs and I'm gonna be making skits because it's actually something that I've wanted to do for a while, but for some reason I've just never really pursued it. And that's exactly what I'm telling you to just do it. Uh, but you guys are gonna be seeing vlogs and skits on there and you guys can check out my old stuff and see if that's something that you guys want. I'll announce it on my social media when that channel is launched, but then I'm gonna be releasing that soon. You guys are gonna be seeing vlogs and sketches on there, uh, stuff that I actually write and I just want to get better at it so you guys will see that soon but the only way to get better at something is to actually do it so that's what that is but just stay tuned you guys will see that soon enough what college tips would you get to all of us high school seniors I don't know man I just wouldn't take it too seriously just have fun life's gonna get a lot harder very quickly once you go to college but it's gonna be great you're gonna make lots of friends new relationships don't worry too much about dating or you know relationships it's all gonna come through are you dating anyone So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But if you guys want to send me new questions, that'll be on my Twitter, Snapchat, any of that. But anyways, like I said before, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.